People, tell girls they can succeed in STEM and they will. Same people, gangster rap has no influence on the crime rate of black males. So this is a thought that I have with just another hypocritical thing that I've noticed. When people look at the outcomes of different groups, and then they talk about the problems that lead to that. And I say most problems exist not because of what X is, but because of how we define X. Now here we talk about teaching in the gender situation. Why are there so few women in the supposedly desirable fields, and most importantly, high-paying fields in science, technology, engineering, and maths? And they say this is a problem that starts in childhood. This starts because we are letting the girl child down. We are not educating the girl child. We're not showing them responsible, actual role models. And part of this has some consistency. And when you hear people saying, boys need to be taught not to rape. Boys need to be taught not to be sexist. This comes from that idea that you can just program something into the child. The reason men are actually out there in the scientific fields is not because there's something that, that appeals to the certain men that actually enter these fields. First of all, it's such a small percentage of the actual men, but it's something innate in how men, boys, are actually raised and taught, and they're encouraged to enter certain fields and certain places. So by seeing that, that's saying, oh, I can be that too. It's not that wow, this is something that I don't understand and I'm just into actually understanding things and then you get to a point where you're like, wow, I understand these things in a certain way and I'm really good at achieving this. Hey, I can actually earn this. And all of a sudden you actually get to know you break into a brand new field and part of the reason these things actually pay so much is because these actual fields are doing things that nobody else has done before. If you look at the rank and file of the people in these fields just doing things that were already done before, they don't earn that much. These highest earners are the ones who are cutting edge who are able to actually do things that they haven't seen other people do. That's how you get the big money in some of these places. But anyway, coming back to this, there's some consistency there. Some of the same people who say this, we need to just encourage girls to enter this. First of all, they ignore the fact that when you talk about boys, you talk about the world has always been sexist, always, always, men have always been assaulting women and things like this, holding them down. Historically, even currently right now, most of the people in charge of raising boys are women. So are you saying women are teaching boys to actually be sexist towards women? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Can we also say that now that women seem to be entering college a lot more than men, that's because the environment is now against it's against boys. It's now anti-boy because there's just so many women in that field. Boys don't have those positive role models as they grow up. When you talk about, oh, single mother households, this single mother actually raised this kid, this kid did this amazing thing. Look at the power of single mother households. But when you look at the correlation between criminals and how many of them have come from single mother households, all of a sudden that has nothing to do with the mother. Now we're talking about the absence of fathers in that situation. There they carry on how they realize lack of actually seeing a certain example could have a negative effect. So when talking about specific gender, there is some consistency in that. But now in the greater societal sense, they talk about if we just show positive depictions of women in certain roles, that's going to change the actual results and achievements of the actual girls exposed to this. But when you look at the black community and people have certain issues about gangster rap and the things gangster rap glorifies, the kind of lifestyles, drug dealing and crime taking and that kind of lifestyle, they say that has nothing to do with black youth, black boys growing up and thinking this is a positive thing for them to do. So just, just seeing the hypocrisy here, just wanted to point that out. Either kids can actually learn from what's actually being shown to them in an actual positive sense, because why are you why are people striving to have women as scientists, women as heroes, women as this, women as that, women as this and the other, and making these massive school programs if that has no effect? But people realize there actually is an effect. And if they do admit there actually is an effect, this parenting in this kind of way, and whether it's positive or not, all I'm saying is there actually is an effect for the messaging that's actually involved there. For some people, for the average person, there still are going to be people who break out of this this dynamic and actually go out and achieve more than what the average person would have in their situation. The average person goes to a gym and lifts a certain weight. The average person might get injured by that weight, but they are going to be exceptional people that get stronger from that weight and then achieve higher levels of things. Part of the reason some of these people in the STEM fields 
are so high earning is because they are just exceptional people in their own right, and they probably would have achieved a lot despite the things in their backgrounds. But if they do admit this, then they would also have to start admitting that there are differences in different cultures and communities. On average, your average urban African-American black community has a different parenting style than on average your average suburban recent immigrant from India community. They will have a different one from your average in small town USA flyover country. They will have a different one from your average first-generation household from a Filipino diplomatic community that works in some international agency living in Washington, D.C. type of society. So these cultural things actually do have an effect. Now, how much of an effect do they have? How definitive that it actually is? That's where I have more questions and debates and talking about that kind of situation. But it's actually there, and I just see this inconsistency. So that's it for this one. Like, share, and subscribe. This is part of my shorty series where I expand on short thoughts. There should be links to a merchandise store wherever you're listening to this, and I'm really thankful that you just take your time to actually listen. So if you can actually go more to check out any stuff in that store and see if there's things that you'd like to purchase, that helps me out. Much appreciated. Till next time, goodbye. Aya, aya. Where are you? 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 Where are